Hello. I just wanted to shoot a very quick video on my iPhone. Um, no summer blockbuster, I'm afraid. This is, I mean, it's Filmic Pro, but it's still on my iPhone. Um, but I wanted to shoot a really quick video just to show the reboot times of the 7Q Plus. I had a really great conversation with um, Dan on the FS5 on, on the FS5 group, and a big shout out to you guys. Um, I, I love contributing on the FS5 group. It's fun helping people out, and if I do come across as a bit of a dick sometimes, it's not on purpose. It's just the fact that I'm English. Um, I can't help it. This is how I was born. Um, but yeah, um, we've had a few conversations, and um, one of the key reasons he went from the, the F, a 7Q over to the Inferno was brighter screen which is one selling point and the reboot times uh, the reboot times I don't buy um, I, I personally don't find it an issue um, the way the 7q plus works uh, the, the device has been stretched beyond its original its original inception it was when it was released as the Odyssey 7q which then became 7q uh, sorry the Odyssey 7 then the 7q then the 7q plus um, they've kind of evolved the device and it's now a multi-cam recorder and all kinds of things. This Titan Extract system, which takes a 4K feed in and splits it into three cameras. Um, you know, it, it does a hell of a lot for, 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 for what it is, which is this you know, tiny sort of inch thick device, um, which is, you know, really, really great on battery power, you know, straight off of one of these little 75 UXs. But, um, yeah, you can basically load in three modes at a time. So you can you can load in RAW. Uh, basically 4k raw, uh, the, the raw feed from the fs5 to raw um, once you've loaded that in you can bounce between all of the frame rates in 4k which is you know 24 25 30 50 60 100 120 you can bounce between that and the 2k high speed 100 120 200 240 you can do that in a blink of an eye the odyssey 7q never gets rebooted uh, when it's in raw to raw um, the FS5 is the only weak link in the reboot side of things and even that that's it's actually very very quick how quickly the FS5 can um, change modes um, apart from when you change the system frequency from 50 to 60 hertz or 60 hertz to 50 hertz in order to achieve 24 or 25 frames per second um, or the 100 120 uh, if you're going to ProRes, that's a different thing. You've got two slots for the firmware to be loaded in. And you can load in the Apollo Multicam Recorder, Titan Extract, or the RAW license. Um, and the RAW license for regular frame rates um, or the high speed frame rates. Um, so just like on any shoot, you know, you, you charge your batteries, you prep your bag, you know, clean your lenses or whatever. Um, I set up my Odyssey 7Q. So when I go on a shoot that's that's going to be 4K to 4K or 4K to 2K, um, and I, and maybe the possibility of some high speed, both modes are loaded into the 7Q. And yeah, I'll show you how long it takes me to bounce between the two. So we are currently in. Let's have a look, let's get that focus right. We're currently in 4K, 25 frames per second, uh, which is the raw feed going to 4K ProRes HQ. Okay, let's come out a little bit. Let's get that in focus. Right, let's go over to high speed. So, doink. And let's wait until the timer over there gets to 4 minutes 30. So I'm going to just touch that. Right there, boom. I was a bit late. Switch the camera over. The Odyssey 7Q is rebooting. And it should be about now. Ready to go. That was about 12 seconds. It was about four minutes. It was about four minutes, 31, 32 on the timer over to 41, 42, 43, something like that. 12 seconds. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I even estimated it wrongly. I said that it would take about 30 seconds. It doesn't take 30 seconds. 15 seconds, you know, to, to boot. Um, let's just say, for some odd reason, you want to give not 2k but you want to give hd this is something that the um inferno can't do so wait until the timer gets up to about 25 uh, 23 24 bunk yeah about 25 um basically because you've loaded the high speed mode um 2k to 2k it also loads in 2k to hd because it's just a crop of the signal um just means you can deliver 16 by 9 files but there you go yeah it's like was that 38 well, about 13 seconds to switch those modes let's go back to let's go from 2k hd over to 4k uhd let's give it until it gets to about 555 about there turn off the high speed and 
coming up to six minutes. I've got pull focus on this. So I'm using the Filmic Pro app and it's weird pulling focus on an iPhone. But yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty quick. Um, I don't see it as anything to stress about or worry about. Um, I'd like to see a similar video for the Inferno. I'd like to see what the, the difference is. Um, the one thing I can say is that the 7Q Plus has been rock solid with its real reliability. So whatever they're doing in there to make sure that this sort of stuff works, um, it's successful so far. Um, some of the things that the Inferno have been doing, that they've had their fair share of um, firmware screw ups and what have you. So has um, Convergent Design. Their product's been out for a long time. So, you know, they've, they've been able to work the issues that they've had. Nothing's perfect. But in regards to reboot times, I don't see that as an issue. Um, uh, there's always, uh, I did mention this, but there was, I don't know if I mentioned this, but there's three modes. So you can always go back to regular HD ProRes. So if I just tap that and say OK, um, the only thing I've got to do is I've got to change the FS5 over to HD. And that should be coming up now. And there you go. So now this is regular HD through the HDMI cable um, and not the RAW. Uh, if you wanted to go through the SDI cable, all you'd have to do is make sure you turn off uh, make sure you set your uh, record your video output from not from not from uh, from HDMI. Make sure it's set to SDI. The second you turn the raw feed off um, and switch and switch modes on here, um, it will switch off the raw. So you you know basically just select the right mode on your Odyssey Seven Q while that's rebooting, which takes seconds, literally seconds. It's like you know five to ten seconds to go uh, to to basically switch off the firmware and go back to regular HD record. Um, by the time you've done that, you've got to you know you've got to set the FS5 to the correct mode. It's ready to go. Um, so at any one time, you could have uh, regular HD loaded in. Um, you could have re regular HD loaded in. You could have 4K to 4K ProRes or 4K to 2K or HD ProRes uh, loaded in um, or UHD um, loaded in. Sorry, so you can have 4K. RAW to 4K ProRes that can also be UHD ProRes. You can have that loaded in. You can have 4K RAW to 2K ProRes, which can also be HD ProRes. You can have that loaded in. Um, you can have the high speed mode lo 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 uh, loaded in. If you've got the high speed mode loaded in, you've got both 2K to 2K ProRes and 2K to HD loaded in. If you've got RAW loaded in, um, then you've got all frame rates and all, all resolutions available. But RAW is a firmware mode. So if you've got RAW set up, you could also load in the Apollo Multicam, the Titan Extract, or 4K RAW to 4K ProRes, or 4K to 2K ProRes, or the high speed mode to, to 2K ProRes. You might be on a project for some crazy fucking reason <laughs> where all your 4K material is going 4K RAW, but high speed, they're worried about the data size when they're when you're doing 2K continuous 200 frames per second raw, and they want you to deliver that in ProRes. So you're delivering 4K raw um, and 2K ProRes. You can load those two things as two separate menus, uh, two separate modes, and it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to switch between the two. It takes four minutes to load any one of these modes into firmware. Once it's in there, it's in there until you take it out. So. For me, it's not an issue. I can even I can even get through the, the four minutes on set, if I'm honest. It's always nice to have a break. <laughs> but if you're shooting weddings, as Dan is, um, I understand four minutes is not something you can wait for. Um, but I also don't believe that there'd be a need for it. You'd have these two programs loaded into your 7Q Plus, and away you go. The 7Q Plus is incredibly power efficient. It runs off these um, 75 UXs um, incredibly well. I, I get at least two, two and a half hours continuous use, and I get more than that with a regular stop-start shoot. Um, I know the Inferno is pretty power-hungry, but then that's because it's got a brighter screen, so it's not that it's a it's a poorer unit, it's just delivering more. You, It's no free lunch, I'm afraid. A backlit screen delivers more, uh, takes up more power. An, OL, um, an OLED screen doesn't have a backlight. Um, it's just the nature of the design, so... Um, I mean, that's it. I mean, if the Inferno had some sort of OLED screen, I reckon you'd see battery performance, you know, increase dramatically. Um, but yeah, so I hope this has been helpful. I know this is 10 minutes of rambling and basically pointing the camera at my floor. Do apologize. Uh, it's very late. I've got a bit of, a, I've got a bout of insomnia. I've had a lot of late shoots lately, so 
um, I had to do something. And uh, yeah, I hope this is helping, uh, helpful. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys soon. Bye.